I was 12 years old, and I'd never seen my dad do what he does. The first time I saw him was in 1992 in the Rodney King trial. He grabbed a baton that had been sitting there. It was one of the exhibits that was going to be used in trial. And he picked up the baton. He started hitting it into his left hand as he was delivering his opening statement to the jury. He gave this opening statement with this rhythm to it. And accompanying the rhythm of him speaking was the baton banging against his wedding ring. It took this already tense air in the courtroom and it elevated it about eight notches. And so I knew in that moment, watching his opening statement, that that's exactly what I wanted to do. I always grew up thinking about justice and fairness. I've been able to take that client storytelling and moved it over to an area that is very fulfilling to me, which is telling the stories of people who have been injured. I was on my way to work with my father. I was driving in front of him. I came up onto the semi that was blowing this huge black pile of black smoke through the whole freeway. It covered all four lanes. I got through that black smoke. I barely missed the semi that was blowing that black smoke out for about a half an inch and my father did not. And he plowed into it about 55 miles an hour with about 6,000 pounds of materials behind him. I honestly, fear, didn't, fear wasn't a part of it until after the fact. And fear didn't come in until, God, I saw him laying in the street, dead. And that was the end of that. That's when the fear kicked in. It's one of those things you don't know until you go through it. And if you've never had to watch your dad choke to death on his own blood in the street, then you really don't know what it's about. It was a couple hours after he was pronounced dead that I told the whole family that we need to get a lawyer. And that's where we came up with Case. He was by far the best choice. And my favorite thing about the firm is how they actually talk to you. I know most lawyers like to do this half-truth thing or flat-out lie to you about what they want or what they think. It wasn't like that with Case Barnett. I have to say he was truly something special as far as lawyers go. The way we live our life every day, we try to live it by certain moral codes. We truly believe that if you're the same person from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, you're gonna do good things. When you come to our office, every single person you come into contact with will listen to you. By listening, we will learn. By learning, we'll be able to fight. When you talk to us, we will hear you.